Hello everyone and welcome to Bevan's Builds and today's video is going to be how to cut in corners without using tape. Now I've already cut in, painted and all that with this. Uh, mind you, I didn't tape it though. I did do this all freehand. Uh, so what we're going to do, because I'm wanting, I've got another wall I've got to do. While that one's drying, I'm going to do this wall over here in yellow. And I'm going to show you with that corner over there and then this outer corner over here, how quick and easy it is to cut in a corner without ever having to tape it off and deal with all that hassle. Uh, the biggest thing is, is I use this little tool right here. Uh, it is made by Cobalt and I will be putting a link in the description of this video below for you to get this tool if you like what I'm doing so you can paint the way that I do. Anyway, now you can see me taking the tool. What you do is you just take it, set it in the corner. You get a little paint on your paintbrush and you'll have to excuse this video. I am not left-handed, so this was actually quite difficult for me to do this on camera, as you can see. Um, but anyway, you put that in the corner, like I said, with your loaded up paintbrush, and then you, you just squirt some paint on there with your brush. Now, every time, as you can see right what I'm doing right there, that you use that and you lift it off the wall, you wanna wipe it down with a clean rag. Uh, what I typically do is I buy these terry cloth rags. You can buy them in bulk, uh, pretty much any of your home improvement stores, uh, or you can even get them on Amazon. I'll even put a link in the description below for the terry cloth uh, rags that I use. But you want, to, you want it to be a little bit damp uh, when you're doing it, so when you go to wipe it, it wipes off nice and clean. But by doing that and wiping it off each time, What'll happen if you didn't wipe it off is when you lift it off, there's always a little bit of paint, as you can see right there, that's left on that tool. And what happens is the, the paint that's on there, when you go to put it back on the wall, a lot of times you'll end up putting the paint on the other flat surface and it just it ends up making a really sloppy corner. So I found that if you wipe it every time or every, between every use, uh, it really helps out and speeds things along and makes for a nice clean line when you're done. Now after you're finished with your corner, you get your roller and you just go as closely as you can to the wall without actually touching it. And it was kind of hard for me to do it because I was trying to do it without actually leaning in front of it. Uh, being that I'm using my right hand, I really wanted to lean over while I was doing this. But like I said, I didn't want to block the camera either. But as you can see, you just start rolling it on and you have this beautifully clean corner that you have. Uh, and it only took a matter of a few minutes. Didn't have to do all the tape mess and nonsense and you don't have to pull all the tape off and get it in your way. And now that we're done with that corner, let's move on to the other wall. Again, uh, no really, there's no tools at all needed for this. This is just specifically just being trying to be steady handed. And all you do is you, you roll some of the paint out after you load up the roller. And then you get as close, or I should say as close, you actually let the, the roller kind of stick out over the edge. And you just really ever so slowly roll it out over the corner. And as you can see, again, it's really quick and easy. And then there's no tape, no mess, no issues. And it makes for a nice clean line. And anyway, that is the first coat of paint for both sides. And again, as you could see in the video, I did not use any tape in any way, shape, or form. Uh, the only thing I did is I used that tool that I showed you for the inside corners. And then for the outside corners, you just got to be really careful and slowly roll it. And as you can see, it makes for nice, clean corners. Anyway, I hope this video helps you out with your home projects, painting projects anyway. Uh, and yes, my walls do look like ketchup and mustard. Uh, I'm not sure that I'm going to keep them that way now that I've got it up, but we'll see what happens. Uh, but anyway, until next time, again, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share below. And don't forget to check out the links in the description and the comments of this video below. And we'll see you next time on Bevan's Builds.